We're telling 10 climate stories here at the Science Museum. We're using our historic collections as well as other artefacts to provoke some thoughts, some conversations about the long history, the long view of our relationship with our environment. We've got a whole series of interventions that you can look at. There's a coal pumping engine which makes you think about the 18th century, the Industrial Revolution. We've got, I suppose, a highlight being Apollo 10, Earth from Space, and our view of our world, that blue marble, which is the first view of the world from space. One of the main attractions is behind me, a remarkable vehicle, a Tucker snow cat, which was used in the first land crossing of Antarctica. This is a really rare opportunity for people to see this remarkable vehicle and many other exhibits as part of this display. The snowcat behind me has not been on show here for a generation. We'll be showing it alongside some footage taken during the Transantarctic Expedition, showing the really perilous journey, uh, a journey with uh, treacherous snowstorms, minus 55 degrees Celsius, 45 mile an hour winds to get across that hostile land Several of the cats fell into crevasses, but they made it across, and that seems reason enough to see it today on show here at the Science Museum. We've also got three art installations coming on show here for the first time, including a remarkable one by Thomas Thwaite, the Toaster Project, in which Thwaite decided to build his own toaster from first principles. He took one apart that he'd bought, found out how complicated it was, and made his own. I started off thinking, oh yeah, sure, I'll make an electric toaster, how hard can it be? But actually, it's really hard even to make the most basic materials like iron or steel or copper. It's amazing for me to have my work in the Science Museum because there's such amazing other objects just right next to my ridiculous toaster. We are really hoping with 10 Climate Stories that visitors will think a bit differently both about the objects and about climate change. We want them to provoke a response, provoke a discussion, just make them think differently about objects that they've seen in one way and then we invite them here to look at them slightly differently.